right? You get your dumbbells and a water bottle, and we're going to get going. I do have people in the class here today with me live, so you might hear me uh, yelling at them a little bit. So, okay, perfect. Okay, you guys, we are going to get going. Stephanie has already left the building. <laughs> so, um, we are doing a, a force. I think Lucas has just left off. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's like afternoon. Everyone's like, la la, it doesn't matter timing, right? <laughs> okay. Um, we are doing a, basically a force conditioning class today. It's, I'm not using sandbags or anything like last time. We're just going to do some strength, some cardio, and some core. Some of the things that I think that are important for when we are doing our force evaluation. I will provide modifications. Um, I will turn some tunes on for us. Those of you live streaming at home, make sure you put your own music on, okay? And like I said, I will provide some modifications as we are going along today, okay? You guys got water, you got uh, mats, you got water, and you got uh, some dumbbells. So I think we're good to uh, go. So like I said, we're gonna warm up. I'm gonna explain each of the ones, as, the groupings uh, before we do them. Because as you guys know, I don't like to leave a lot of rest in between exercises, and Mary doesn't like that either. So, <laughs> so just get her done. Okay, so let's just start moving. Moving those feet. Good. Make sure you smile. Right. Where'd Stephanie take off to? Ah. Uh, oh. I I did one of those. I went for a quick search for an elastic too. <laughs> So, okay, get those knees higher. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be do, doing groupings of five exercises, and we're going to be doing four rounds of them, 30 seconds on for each one. So we're going to go through one through five, one through five, one through five, one through five, with little rest. Only about five seconds to get yourself uh, prepared for the next one. Okay, let's break it into a jog. And what I want you to think about when you're doing those 30 seconds is that I want you to move well through those motions. So don't just try to hammer it out to get repetitions in. Make sure your form is good. And at any time, if you need to change the weight or take, take the weight away when we use weights, please do so. Okay, higher knees. Perfect. And if you guys, when I've got the timer going, if I stop or anything, doesn't give you permission to stop. It's just I gotta watch the timer and get ready for the next one. Okay, take it into jumping jacks. I think these are the only jumping jacks we're doing today. Thank goodness. Perfect. We got a front row of guys and a back row of girls. <laughs> That's good. Okay, arms to the front. Keep doing jumping jacks. Good. Now reach up when you do them. This is just testing your coordination. <laughs> Good. Back to regular jumping jacks. Okay, let's go skiers, front and back. Get those arms going. Perfect. Max, do you cross country ski? Oh, well, you're going to Quebec. You better start doing it. Going back there. <laughs> there we go. Take it down to a jog. Perfect. Okay, slow it down. High knees. Good. Let's see some squat presses. Weight in the heels. Press up. Nice neutral spine. Nice. Good. Okay, I want to see three forward and back lunges on each leg. There may be some more lunges today. Maybe. Perfect. Three of those forward and back. Once you're done, Good. Just march it out for a sec till everyone's collected. Okay, we're going to go laterals. Three to each side. So I know often when I do a force conditioning class, I actually kind of focus on each component of the test to do some exercises that are um, related to that portion of the test. Today, not so much. Changing it up a little bit, but they are exercises 
that will help make you stronger for that evaluation. Okay, last thing to warm up, standing tall, walking out to the floor, doing a push-up, walking back, standing tall. If you need to go down to your knees for that push-up, totally fine. And you guys that are here, let me know if you can't see me or hear me as we get going here, because this table is in the way. Okay, so take a second. I'm gonna explain that at first grouping, turn some water, or turn the music on, turn the water on. <laughs> it's my first day teaching ever. So, okay. So well, like I said, we're gonna do a grouping exercise. It's five exercises, 30 seconds on, and then you get a, about a five second break and then on to the next one. That five seconds is just to get into that next exercise, okay? So, and I will explain the exercises. I'm just gonna turn the tunes on quickly. So you have a little bit of sound, maybe. And then uh, we'll get going. So the first one we are doing is a bit of a cardio and a bit of a core. So it's a bit of a complex of both. This is the only thing you'll probably need the mat for. So our exercises, and watch me as we do them. I'll do them really, really quickly just to show you, and then we're going to get through it. So the first one is you go down to a burpee, you get down, you cross over and tap, tap, in, up. You go down, tap, tap. And if you have to modify, you can just do a little tap, OK? just to engage those, those obliques. Then from there, we are going, you go down to a push up, to a reach. Push up, to a reach. If you need to go on your knees, you can do a push up, come up, reach over, okay? Next one, you do three surfboards. So we go one, one, two, three. We go down, knee in, Knee in, knee in, knee in. Up, one, two, three, back down. I'm gonna be doing it with you. Next one is a side plank. You go to side plank, star, star, rotate back and forth, okay? Last one, you do two tucks. This is the one you might want your mat for, two tucks. Go out, roll to the side. Come up, tuck, tuck, control, roll to the side. So it's very controlled, it's a banana split. Okay, so 30 seconds on. When you forget the exercises, watch me. You guys at home, watch me. I will give modifications. We good to go? It's little rest. Okay, ready. Starting with the burpee, I call them just scorpions, okay? Reaching over. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Make sure you get that jump on the way back. Reaching over, get the jump up on that burpee. It's just a partial burpee because you're not going chest to the floor. Jump up every time. If you need to modify, don't tap as far. Over, if you want to make it more difficult, reach way back. Engage that core. Two, one, rest it out. Okay, getting ready for that push up with the opposite reach. Here we go, go. So you do push up, opposite hand, reaching towards that foot. Nice, reaching. Exhale, every time. Slow and controlled. Nice. Keep that back nice and flat. Reach. Two. One. Getting ready. Going three surfboards. So three jumps. Go. So one, two, three. Get down. Knee in. Knee in one side. Knee in. Knee in other side. Up. Get down. One, two. Three, get down. One, two, on one side. Get that knee, drive it up. Right away into those surfboards. Three seconds. 
Good, okay, high plank. High plank, you're doing the rotation, touching. Go, so your high plank, rotate over. If you need to, then go to the other side. You can also do this from your knees. You drop to your knees, go over, come down. Good. I want you to focus on being steady. Two, one, on your back. Two tucks to the side, right? Go, tuck up, tuck up, control to the side, rotate, come back. Tuck, tuck, rotate to the other side. Call these banana splits. Exhale every time you come up. If you need to modify, you can put your hands behind you and do two tucks, then go down. So to balance yourself. Two, one, rest it out. Rest it out. Okay, here we go. Round two, in. Two, one, go. Back to those burpees. I told you, no rest. <laughs> Jump up. Reach. Reach. Nicely done, you guys. Reach. Jump up. Like I said, if you need to modify, just do little taps. Two, one, rest it out. Doing the push up to that opposite hand. One, go. Push up, nice flat back. Reach back towards those toes. If you can't reach all that way because of flexibility, that's okay. Take your hand to your knee, that's okay. <sighs> Exhale every time. Nice. Looks good, you guys. Looks good. Rest it out. You get a whole five seconds. Going back to those surfboards. Right? Two, one, go. Remember to smile. You're having fun. Two, three, you get down. Two knees to the side. Control those knee ends, okay? Don't make it about a fast motion. Engage your core. Nice tight core. You should bring those knees in. Two, three, two, one. Okay, going to those side planks again. One, go. So control it. Take a second, pause there when you're on your side. Don't just rush through it. Like I said, if you need to modify, you can go on your knees and rotate and do it. Get your balance each time. Get your core working. Two, one, here we go. Banana splits. Here we go. Two, one, go. Two tucks. Did you hear my voice there? That was like going through puberty voice. <laughs> Two tucks. Then control that side roll. Don't just let yourself fall. If you need to modify this, you can sit up and do a V-sit for those two, okay? Nice. Two, one, rest it out. Two rounds done. Two to go. Here we go, set, whoopsie, set, whoops. And go, back to those scorpion burpees. Now you're getting the pattern. We should just do 10 rounds of this. <laughs> Jump up. Good. Use it, utilizing our core is so important in every component of the force evaluation. Two, 
One. There we go. Push up to hand in, right? Opposite side. Two. One. Go. Having a strong core makes us be able to move that sandbag that much better. Move in and out of that prone position that much better. And the cardio is important because that's what we're testing on the loaded and unloaded shuttles. Two, one, coming up. Three surfboards. Two, one, go. One, two, three, down. Slow on those knee ends. Focus. Light on your feet on those squat jumps, those surfboards, right? Quiet feet. Exhale each time. Nice. You need to modify your entire, just do little jump ups. Okay. Side plank. Side plank. Two, one, go. Take that time to focus and hold yourself steady in that side plank. Just don't swing from side to side. Good, you guys. Nice. Thought this would get our legs warmed up for the next one. Okay, banana splits, here we go. Two tucks in. Go! Tuck in. Tuck in. Rotate to the side. Control it. Exhale every time you come up. Nice. It's all about control here. Engaging that core in a little bit different way than you would if you were just doing a hold or just doing straight crunches. Two, one, rest it out. One more round, one more round. You guys are good for it. Okay, burpees, scorpion. If you get tired with your reach overs, just don't reach as far. You wanna challenge yourself, reach way over. Two, one, go. Reach, keep that back, flat. Reach. Think about your obliques. Pulling that leg back after you've reached it over. Good. Last round we're going through here. Two, one. Rest it out. Hold five seconds. Push up to the reach. Go. Reach over. If you need to do the push up from your knees, that's fine. And then come up and then reach over. Nice. I see some nice flat backs here. Wonder how the people at home are doing. Rest it out. Hold five seconds. Surfboards. You got this. Go. Quiet feet. Quiet feet. Control the knee on the pull-in. Nice. Good work. You guys look so good. Good. Flat back, right? Flat back. Two, one. Rest it out. Side plank, side plank. Go. Rotate over. If you get tired, you can't pick the foot up anymore. Just do a rotate and hold at the side for a second. That's okay too. Stay that nice tight board. Oh, not holding your breath. 
Good work. Excellent. Two, one, last time, banana splits. Last time, banana splits. Go. Control that rotation. Exhale every time you come up. Nice. Excellent. Ten seconds left here. Then we get a water break. Two, one, rest it out. Now you guys warmed up. Lucas said he tried this one with me already, and Lucas said that would be a good warm up. So now we're warmed up, right? Okay. How's everyone doing? Okay. Okay, not a long time to rest. Next one. Next grouping. I call the leg killer. More mostly quad killer. Okay, because on your force test, a lot of people when they do the drag, when they do the sandbag lifts, their legs get super tired. So I want to target that area so that you'll be good on your evaluation. So you're gonna use one weight for two of the exercises. So have that one weight close to you. So or don't have just so you can have it in reaching. You don't need your mat. So you at home, get rid of your mat. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with, we're gonna do, you don't need a weight for the first one. It's two pulse squats to an explosive jump. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, if you can't jump, you, you can pretend you explode up on your toes, right? That's what you do. Next one is lateral. So you're gonna go, we've done these before. You go a big lateral, a big lateral, then we do high steps, high Heisman's football steps, right? Big step, big step. Right, over. And with the pause, okay? That's the next one. After that, after that, we're going, oh, this one's good. Three mini lunges, three little lunges, so not all the way down, to a jump lunge. Two, three, jump, little pulses. Next one, you're holding a dumbbell. Just doing a squat to a kick. Squat to a kick. Okay, if you want to hold two dumbbells, you can too. Last one, you're holding the dumbbells. Turn your feet out. Plie squats, sumo squats. You're going to go down into a hold. Three calf raises. Then you're going to come up. No jump though this time. Down, hold. Three. You know what, Mary? Spin is going to feel so good after this tonight. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Those are exercises. I get you 90 seconds off. That was way too much. Okay. Are we ready? We are starting with the two pulse squats to an explosive jump. Like I said, if you can't jump, you just come up high on your toes. Here we go with a smile because you're having fun. This is your last chance workout with me, Max. Smile. <laughs> okay, here we go. It all ended with a big bang. That's what the music just said. Here we go, two, one, go. So two little squats. Good. Quiet on those feet. This is gonna feel so good by the end of round four. It's gonna be awesome. I see some nice height out there. How are you guys doing at home? Good. Two, one. Okay. Doing those side to side with the shuffle, right? One, go. So you do a big lateral like you go over seven. Big lateral, then three hops. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. Drive those knees up on those high spins. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. When you're actually doing your force test, I do not want to see you jumping side to side in Heisman's. <laughs> Rest it out. Okay, next one. 
three mini lunges to a jump lunge switch. So one, two, three, let's go, switch. One, two, three, switch. Two, three, switch. If we need to modify this, you go one, two, three, and then you step and alternate, okay? But you don't have permission to stop. Two, three, jump. Nice. Good work, five seconds. Max, you stopped before we were done. Okay, grab that wing. Grab that wing. Squat, kick. Squat down, kick, so all the way on one leg. Pretend it's a, you're so strong that this weight is just like, feels like a light sandbag. Weight in the heels for that squat. Kick. Nice. People at home get to see my shoe. I'm sure they love that. <laughs> Two, one. Don't put that weight down. Still holding it. Turn those feet out. Go, so you go down. Three calf raises. Stand up. Go down. And when you go down, it's not a bar stool, right? It's a low chair. Turn that seat out. Core nice and tight. I'm being nice. I'm letting you come up every three to relax the legs for a sec. Two, one, rest. Put them down. Okay, round two. Paul squats and those squat jumps. Here we go. In two, one, go. Quiet feet, right? Nice. Once again, our pulse squats, it's not a bar stool, right? You didn't want to be able to walk for the rest of your house hunting trip, did you? <laughs> Four seconds. Good. Okay, Heismans, those lateral, lateral Heismans. Go. So pick that imaginary line that you go over. Or if you're lucky to have a nice line on the gym floor, some people. Great. One, two, three. Pause. Right? So you get that pause on that leg, too. If you're modifying, you can do a step, step, and then you go high knees over, right? Good job, you guys. Rest it out. Okay, three mini lunges, three pulse lunges to a jump lunge. Go. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. Good. Use those arms. Nice. Nice quiet feet. Nice wide step. Mary, this will make us stronger for mountain biking. <laughs> Two, one, rest it out. Squat to the front kick, squat to the front kick. Go. I promise our next round of four exercise, or five exercises is upper body. <laughs> but it's not jump lunges. Good. No. Okay. Sumos. Wide, wide, wide. Turn those feet way out. Go down. Three calf raises when you're down there. Up, keep that core engaged, chest is up. Don't let yourself lean forward. Nice. Good work. Excellent. Oh, tell yourself it feels good, it does. You're getting stronger. Rest it out, rest it out. 
two rounds done already, only two to go. Okay, she's already cursing me. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. That's why these three are actually moving. No, <laughs> sweet. Here we go. Two, one. They're moving this week, though. Go. Pulse squat. This is their last class. We're not really. They're doing spin. <laughs> last day. Jump up. Those pulse squats. Nice. If I didn't like you, I'd put weighted vests on you. Lucas, go get a weighted vest. <laughs> okay. okay. Lateral jumps with a smile. Go. Big jumps. Good prank training for hockey season. Skiing. High knees on those highs, friends. I like to imagine I'm jumping over something running when I do this. Jumping over, nice. Okay, front squat, or squat, to a front kick. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Oh my gosh, it's my first day, one. I was so excited to get to the kicks again. I've never made another mistake before teaching. First time ever. Go. Keeping me honest. Go. Dropping down. If you need to modify, then you step back on that other leg, right? Come up and you step back. Okay, now. Now it's squats with a kick. Two, one, go. If you need to, too, you can put that weight down and just do the squats with a bit of a kick. I want the kick in here, so I want you to engage the leg a little differently. Want the weight on that one leg only. Work on some balance at the same time. Nice. Okay, going into those sumos. Good. Yeah. Three calf raises coming up. I threw the calf raises in here because quite often I hear people when they do the sandbag drag go, my calves are burning. So I wanted to throw those in there. Coming up. Nice work, you guys. It looks so good. Get down low. Five seconds. Rest it out. Do we only have one round of this left? We should have done five rounds. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last round of these. So we're doing those pulse squats and the squat jump. Let's see how high you can go. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Nice. How's everyone doing at home? Getting a sweat on? You challenging yourself? You get in better shape. You have to challenge yourself. You don't quit when it gets hard. You gotta push through that, unless of course it's an injury or something, a serious. <laughs> Good. Okay, laterals, last time. High knees through those Heismans. Go. Two, then the three high knees with the pause. Also called football runs. Jumping, jumping. Nice. Good work. Oh, it feels good, Stephanie. Okay, all oh, those mini, those lunges. I'm not forgetting those again. Here we go. Go, three, two, one, jump, lunge. Three little pulses. 
Nice work. Oh, tell yourself you love them. It could be worse. I could add a burpee at the end of each one of these. There's got to be a way you can do that. <laughs> nice. Five seconds left here. Good. Okay. We've got those squats with the kick. Good. Let's go. Squat down. I told you. I wanted this to be a little bit of a quad killer. It's just with no rest, not heavy weight here. Just lots of reps. Each one of these rounds is two and a half minutes. That's pretty good. That's 10 minutes of work. Just keep pushing those legs. Good. Okay. Last round. Sumos with the calf raises. Now you should be smiling. Coming up. Get those calves up. Like I said, I wanted to throw these in because people always on their force test complain that their calves get tired when they do that sandbag drag. And they're tired and they've been in this low position, a position kind of almost mocking this on the drag. Woo! Rest it out. Give those legs a shake. Nice. How are you guys doing? Next round is upper body. Next round is upper body. So we will definitely be using our dumbbells. Definitely be using our dumbbells. So, everyone feeling okay? So here are our exercises. You guys get to rest, I'll keep moving. So first one, we're lying down. You're gonna do a pec fly, okay? But not just a pec fly. What you're gonna do, your knees are bent, so your low back stays on the floor. You're gonna come up with your legs at the same time, keeping the low back pressed. So guess what? Engaging my core again while I'm doing something else. Slow and controlled. Peck fly. Next one. You know what we do? Renegade rows, those plank rows where we stand and we go one arm, then the other arm. What I want to do today is you're going to go into that plank. You're actually going to do two rows on each side. So you actually can take some time to focus on your back pulling that weight up. So it's two times one side, two times the other side. So I always find that people just start rushing and going too fast. So take time to control it. That's the second one. Uh, third one. These are for you, Stephanie. They're called pike push-ups. <laughs> so, so a pike push-up, usually you would use a bench if you wanted. But what we're doing, we want to really focus on our shoulders here. <laughs> We're here, going up and down. To modify, if, if you can just hold it here and just do little ones, that's okay. Then, what's next after that? Then you're gonna go into a bit of a hole, okay? A bit of a hole, you can use one or two dumbbells and you're raising up, just like that. Last one. We're gonna go half the time on one side, half the time on the other. Bit of a squat. You're gonna go down, one arm, curl, press. So a faster motion to a curl, to a press, okay? I'm gonna do 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. So that's our upper body. So we're gonna start with those chest flies. We're doing a reverse crunch at the same time. 30 seconds on, quick switches. Here we go. In, I gave you almost two minutes off that time. That's way too much. Here we go, two, one, go. If you can't remember what things are, just follow along with me. Doing that. So keep your a slight bend in your knees so your low back stays pressed into the floor all the time. 
Exhale on each one of these. Don't hold your breath. Two, one, coming around. You're gonna do those plank double row. Feet are nice and wide so you're balanced, right? Two rows on each side. Use your back, not your arms to pull the weight. Think about that. Slow and control. You want to keep your back flat too. You want to balance your favorite beverage on your back. My feet are nice and wide apart, so I'm balanced. Slow and control. Rest it out. Okay, going into those pike push-ups. So you're in a pike position. Up and down. Focusing, this is for your shoulders, not your chest. This is a great exercise to do if you're in a hotel room and have no weight. This is another one that can be added to that list. Never an excuse not to get a workout in. Good. Two, one. Okay, now you're gonna have that one weight. Feet shoulder width apart. Slight bend. You can use two weights if you like. So I'm leaning quite a bit over. <sighs> Lifting up. Well, Lisa, you're parallel to the floor. <sighs> nice. Good. This should burn after the pike push-ups. Okay, here we go. Half on one side, half on the other. You're going down for a curl to a press. Go. I'll tell you when to switch sides. Get that curl. Make sure your racket good. Nice. Okay, switch sides. This is where we need kettlebells. <laughs> nice. Push it. Two. One. Rest it out. Down on the floor. Peck, peck fly with the leg raise. Here we go. Two. One. Go. Doing that reverse crunch at the same time as you bring the weight up. Nice. Keep the knees slightly bent so your low back stays pressed into the floor and you're not compromising it. Exhale each time. Nice. Two, one, coming up. Going into those plank rows. You guys look awesome. Two, one. Nice wide plank stance, two rows each side. If you need to, you can go down onto your knees for the row as well. Engaging that core at the same time here. Good work, looking good. Use the back, not your arms to do it. The arm is just a lever. Okay, weights are down, pike push-ups. You can't forget those, Stephanie, it's your name. <laughs> Here we go. To make these more difficult, if you were at home or not in a class, you can put your feet up on a bench to do them. <sighs> Exhale every time. Pushing up. Like I said, you can just pause and do not go down as far as if you're starting to tire. Okay, grabbing that weight. I want you low, so you're sort of leaning forward, coming. Here we go, doing those raises. Exhale every time. You could always do this with one, two weights as well. Your choice. 
Nice. Don't swing. Control the weight. Do the whole range of motion. Okay. One weight, one weight, right? Good, let's go. Rack it, bring it down. Press it up. Good. Keep your chest forward. You don't let your chest go down to the ground, okay? Keep it forward all the time. Switching sides. Press that up. Okay, nice job. Two rounds done. Two to go. You got this. It's not squat jumps and it's not burpees. Here we go. Two, one, go. Knees are slightly bent, right? Excellent. Slow and controlled. Don't let those weights fall back to the ground. Control it. Don't hold your breath. Two, one, okay. Going into those plank rows. Plank rows, here we go. Let's go, row it up two times on each side. Think about your back doing this exercise. Nice. Good work. Five seconds, then we go to those pike push-ups. Okay, pike push-ups with a smile. Here we go, let's do it. Nice. Exhale every time. Think about your shoulders doing this, your triceps, not your chest. After this, we're going to those raises again. Those front raises. Excellent. Okay, so squat down, you're low. Back is nice and neutral. Go. This is round three of four. We've got this. Just level parallel to the floor. Remember to smile. Getting fitter, getting stronger with every repetition. Maybe getting sore or two, I don't know. More tired, I don't know. Rest it out. We're not really rest it out. Prepare for the next exercise. Go, nice. Some people have some great technique in here doing these. <laughs> Maybe a few people have gotten tactical athlete training. It's not called CrossFit, right? Raisa, switch sides. Weight in the heels. Reach it up. Good work. Rest it out. One round left. One round left. Peck fly, peck fly, here we go, two, one, go. Excellent. Slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. Keep those knees bent so that low back stays in the floor. Good work, you guys. Good. Okay, those rows. Two rows each side. You got this. Quick switch. Two, one, go. Feet nice and wide apart so you stay nice and stable. Okay. 
Exhale every time. I don't want to see you rotating your body. Your back is nice and flat. I hate when I see people rotating. So they're using their arms and not their back. Two, one, rest it over. Reposition for pike push-ups. Go. Move over here. Excellent. Exhale every time. Slow and controlled. First move well, then move often. <laughs> Almost there. Two, one. Okay. We have those reaches. Here we go. Reach up. Looks good, you guys. Nice. And some front raises here. We have five seconds left. Rest it out. Somebody stopped before the uh, buzzer went. Not going to call you out or anything. Go. Nice. Keep that chest forward. Don't let it go to the ground. You have to curl the rack to the shoulder press. Switch sides. I should have added six for this one. We should have done 30 seconds on each side for this one. Next time. Two, one. Rest it out. Upper body done. Some cardio, some core, some leg burners. I have some really good news. I have good news and better news, I guess. I guess the good news would be for you guys, you're almost done. The better news for me is that I have one two and a half minute round I want to do. We're not going to do it. We don't have time to go through it four times. So I want to do it one time. One time. Two and a half minutes, all out. So leave nothing in reserve. So we're going to start. This is going to be fun. We're going to start. Mary's like, whenever she says fun, mountain biking is fun. So, okay, kayaking is fun too. Burpees and this stuff is more fun. <laughs> okay, so watch me as we do it, I'll show, um, as we, we get into each one, okay? So what I want you to do here, the first one though, is we're going, it's going to be jump lunge, jump lunge, and you go jump, 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 in, jump lunge, jump lunge, close, far, far, jump in, okay, that's our first one, and then the next one's going to be a long jump with a step back, a long jump to a step back, it's one round, that's it, on the breaks I'm going to show you the exercise because I want to get this done, you're good for it, this is all cardio and some legs, okay, here we go, three, two, one, go. So jump lunge, jump lunge, and do it close, far, far. Nice. So you do three squat jumps at different. So what happens when people do their force test, they get tired towards the end. So you gotta train so you don't get so tired so soon. Rest it out. Ooh, those burn. Okay, you're doing long jump, high knees back. So let's go, long jump, high knees back. Long jump, quiet feet on those, high knees back. Long jump. Nice. High knees back. Drive it. 
Nice long jumps, you guys. Rest it out. Okay, watch this one. Kneel, kneel, up, up, jump. Here we go. Let's go. So you're getting down, you can switch legs. If you want, you can use your mat to kneel down to. I already bruised my knee this morning, so it already hurts, so it doesn't matter. Let's go. Kneel down, kneel up. Rest it out. Okay, you're gonna go low. Low like this, get down. You're gonna go in and out. In and out, staying low. So it's just my knees are bent too, it's not straight leg. It's little jumps, call them bulldogs. Little jumps, fast. There, nice. One more last little plank idea at the same time here. Oh, it's part of the legs. Oh, does that feel good? Two, one, rest it out. Last one. You're doing a burpee to two tuck jumps to up. Let's go. So down to the ground, come up, in, in. Let's go. All the way to the ground. Last one, guys. Last one. Come on, 10 seconds. Two, one. Woo. That was awesome. <laughs> Nicely done. Keep walking in place. Walk it out in place. I'll do, I promise you that that was the surprise. There's no more surprises. If you come to Marty's class, she'll say just one more and she'll surprise you with another one. And then she'll say just one more and she's so smiley and nice and bubbly. You go, okay, I think I can do one more. <laughs> so, okay, just march it out, you guys. March it out, we'll stretch it out. Good, I'm gonna turn the music down. Nice. How's everyone feeling? It makes me so happy you're here. <laughs> okay. How are your legs, Stephanie? Are they killing you? Nice. So did I. So did I. I did legs yesterday too, so. Okay, taking that arm across. Mary, how you doing? Good? How are you doing? She's like, I'm canceling my house hunting trip. I'm not moving here. Oh, she bought a house over the top. And Max is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel my postings. I just want to stay here and hang out with Georgia, right? Yeah. Other side. Good. Okay, open the chest up. Good, standing tall. Nice. Uh, if you need for balance, you can touch your belly button, have that leg tra track straight down. So you're really going to need spin on Friday to get the lactic acid out, because that'll be the second day, so delayed onset of muscle soles. Uh, you are signed up, I saw you. It's not so good. Okay, other side. Does everyone feel like their heart rates are coming down? I don't know, you at home, if you got a good workout, did you guys get a decent workout? Is it okay? Guys, Lucas, okay, you're sweaty, but I don't know, you might have put water on you at the water fountain. <laughs> okay, leg forward, leaning forward from the hips. I think the best sweat one we did so far, I know Mary did it, I know you did it, 
I did it the one where, and I fell because there was so much sweat. I think you had said you had to go outside because the sweat was so bad. Other side. That was the one where we were just doing things. And I'd say, okay, do eight of these. And then we do something, do eight of these. And we just kept doing high knees in between. It was like 40 minutes nonstop of Carly. It was a puddle of goo. Standing tall, coming over. Reaching over. Other side. Nice extension. Okay, going tall, going into downward dog. Okay, I want you to push the, take one, bend the one knee and push the other one towards the ground. Stretch that calf out. Other side. Okay, into downward dog again, both feet extended. Okay, coming down onto the floor, going into child's pose. Head is down, walk those fingers forward. Walk them over to the left side. And now the right side. Back to center, forward. Okay, coming up onto all fours, pushing up and back into downward dog one more time. Slowly walk your hands towards your legs. And slowly, think about it almost as one vertebrae at a time. Slowly coming up. We should just stay here and I could just teach yoga for the next hour. And then do spin. Okay, and reaching up and back. Excellent. So like I said, a lot of those exercises, they're just things that will help, help you with your overall fitness, but things that I think they're important for success on that force test as well. So thanks guys for playing. Thanks for you guys uh, for playing at home too.